Shabbat Shalom. Rabbi Rachel Zarin here with a thought for Shabbat. I'm standing here in Majdanek, right outside of Lublin in Poland, with the Voices of Hope March of the Living delegation. We spent the beginning of the week in Krakow and in Auschwitz and Birkenau, in Warsaw and Lodz. We spent Yom HaShoah marching with 10,000 others from over 50 different countries, marching from Auschwitz to Birkenau, the march of those who are alive to give witness today to those who once marched to their deaths. Over this week, we have all felt the enormity of the loss that was incurred by the Holocaust. We all know the number six million, but it's hard to really comprehend what that number means. We've seen that number manifested in the piles of shoes, the suitcases that people once packed because they thought they were building lives where they were going. We've seen that number in the piles of braids and hair of those who were shaved upon arrival. But one of the most powerful memories that will always stick with me is seeing the book of names in the Auschwitz Museum. We only know the names of four out of the six million of those whose lives were lost. But those four million names are recorded in a book, a book that includes names, the date and place of birth, if we know it, and the place of death, if we know it. That simple information takes over 16,000 pages to record. 16,000 pages of names, birth and death, hanging in the middle of a room. The smallest of ways to remember the magnitude of what was lost in the Holocaust. As I think about the enormity of what's been lost, one other thing comes to mind. During the ceremony at the end of the March of the Living, Rabbi Lau, the chief rabbi of Israel, spoke. He spoke about how even though the loss of the Holocaust was great, it could have been even greater because Hitler's plan was to exterminate all Jews around the world, not only those in Europe, but all of us. And because of that, the fact that you and me and all of us are here today means that we are all survivors. May we live as survivors and may we remember those who perished and give honor to those who survived and may their memories of those who perished be a blessing.